So basically, every time you uh, every time you blow a fuse, it opens a door. Now, what you want to do is you can see see there's one right there. Leave that one till last. You can just shoot them. It's just as easy to shoot them, but you can you've got these explosives here. You may as well use them. Of course, because I said that, they're not going to do shit. Try again. Right, they've decided they're not going to fit through the bars. Just shoot them then. Right, so basically what's going to happen is... As soon as you've cleared the entire, uh, well, however many it is, I think it's three, an enemy will come. Now, somehow, he always seems to make it through the fire. I've never quite understood that, but he always seems to be able to get to you. I may have missed one. Yeah, it looks like I may have missed one. Is there one through there? Yeah, I see it. See it all the way back there? So that's there's four of them in total then. I think I hit it, I'm not sure. As soon as the flames stop, run and just keep going. The timing should match up with you. Now sometimes what happens is... Yeah, I think that was what just happened there. On impossible mode, another enemy will come following out of there, like following you out of there, but he gets burnt up. On the other difficulties, uh, that doesn't happen. So get stomping. Okay, so we're done. Just have a look, see if uh, see if there's anything for us to pick up. I've always thought of this as quite a short level. Now when you come up the top of the lift, uh, your light's going to tell you to go that way, but don't go this way. There's all sorts of bits to pick up. And you can get in the little office here and there's a node in here and usually a health pack as well. Right, so that's a room, apart from the escape, um, that's room number one done. You've got the same thing pretty much to do again with the second area. But so far I think we've been lucky, I don't think I've been hurt at all. Famous last words. But all you've basically got to do now is make it to the exit. I would not, because there's nothing else to do in this room, so I would not bother fighting the enemies. Just leg it. Warning. Ten kiloton lag detected in food storage. If you can see the fatty from the door, then freeze him first. Yep. 
he normally appears over here. Run, run, run! And there we go. Simple as that. If you're absolutely crazy, go back in there, kill that lot, and collect whatever items you want, but I'm not that kinky, so... <clears throat> okay, so what have we got? Way too much plasma energy. Let's just make sure that the plasma... Because we will be using it for the next bit. Okay. Medium med packs. We've got too many... Ruby semiconductor sell. Stasis pack will keep. We've got way too much plasma energy. Line racks will sell. All surrounds flame fuel will sell. Force energy will sell. Okay, have we got any pulse rounds in the safe? Look at all this stuff we've got we can sell. I have got. 100 pulse rounds in the safe. Right, so what does that give me now then? 281 pulse rounds plus whatever's in the gun, which should be 175. 19 plasma energy, that's fine for what we're going to do. Two medium med packs, one small med pack. We could probably do with another small med pack, just in case. Right, so we've got two medium, two small, a stasis pack, a little bit of plasma energy, and all the pulse rounds that we've got. Now, like I say, you want the you want the plasma cutter for this next round. It's the best weapon for this uh, job we've got to do. But first, I'm going to save. Okay, so basically there's there's been a little cut, but only because I had to stop to put a fan on in my room. It's just so unbearably hot at the moment. I hate the hot weather anyway, and at the moment this summer is killing me. Right, basically what's going to happen is, uh, in this next part, there is a, a wall hugger. One of those things I told you about before that fires the pods at the floor. Um, but we're not going to have any explosives to deal with him. Uh, so basically it's all down to where you stand. You have to stand in the right place and you have to do the right thing at the right time. So basically uh, do as I do. Let's get rid of that text first. Run in here. And he must stand right here. But look to where he fires his pod. He'll fire a pod over there. The pods that land over there, <coughs> they can hurt you. But he will also fire pods over sort of in this sort of area here and they cannot reach you so all you have to do is concentrate on dealing with his tentacles and also if he fires a pod over here deal with one of those pods but basically as long as you stay pinned up against this wall see he's just fired a pod on the left we don't have to worry about that and if you d get rid of it, he'll just fire more. You'll see that that pod on the floor hasn't even put any tentacles up because it hasn't even seen us. Right, see, so we've dealt with him straight away. Now all you have to do is make sure you're ready and step out and deal with that pod. Now on impossible mode, I've discovered that the pods fire at you really quick. So just step out and deal with it two shots cuts it straight off and you're okay <laughs> 